Oh, is it on straight? Who cares? Welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to another episode of Painting with Master Temple. I'm Dan, and it's a pleasure to have you here today watching me paint. I pulled a bit of a sneaky on you already. It looks like I've got the canvas already half painted, and in a way I am. This is acrylic paint. I've painted the bottom half in acrylic, but we'll get more onto that in the video. This is a commission piece by a good friend of mine. He goes mountain climbing, and he climbed up to the top of the mountains on the Isle of Skye, somewhere in Scotland, and took a photograph, and now wants me to paint that scene. Uh, so I'm gonna fetch you up close to the canvas so you can get a little bit closer on the action. But before we do, if you like this sort of stuff, and you've not done so already, consider subscribing. And um, when we get through the video and you like it, give it a big old thumbs up. It helps us out, it's free to do, and uh, it means the world to me. So. Let's get on with the painting. Happy days. So down here, this bottom third of the canvas is coated in uh, acrylic paint. I've painted the basic outlines of the uh, the mountains and got a little bit carried away in the foreground. I quite like that already, but we will paint over it in oils. Up here, again, it's just a acrylic uh, primer dried completely and then on top of that it's titanium white and a little bit of it linseed oil very very thin amount so we can blend a little bit of the blues up there because we're going to put a sky in there now so all i'm going to do is take some white a tiny bit of blue just a little tiny bit of blue it's so strong is that prussian blue and come over here sneak a bit of red just a tiny amount of red as well and mix all that together so we've got like a gray purpley blue color okay maybe a touch more of the red and I may even throw a bit of the brown in that just to just to just to give it another little bit of a flavour. So we've got the browns always running through the painting. And I'm gonna start hitting the canvas up here in little strokes to give us a little bit of a sky. So I'm just gonna cover this just like that. Again, it's been coated in a little thin layer of linseed oil. Now I'm working from a reference photograph and that, like I've said before, this is a, a bit of a commission painting and I think we've got a nice big cloud somewhere there. Okay, so I've just got to make sure we get that in. And again, we'll just load up the paintbrush and just float some of these colours in. I've lost a little air there. That's all right. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so just carry on doing this till we get the old canvas how we want. Nice and free, little paint, little and often, little and often. I'm changing the little flavour every now and again as well, with a little bit of, little bit of grey in there as well. I want some of the grey tones to show through on the sky, like that. And then we want to, want to darken the corners off as well, just to make sure that the eye's drawn in. There's, the, the, the the horizon is pretty straight. There's nothing containing your eye into the painting room. So we're going to have to really work on some of this. We may fetch a mountain up a little bit higher either side just to draw your eye in. But we'll just coat this and get it all scrubbed in to the fabric. Right. All right, so what I've done is just basically taken a big brush. I've just taken a big brush and I've just blended the sky together. And because it's got that linseed oil underneath all this, it, a little bit of white it makes it a little bit easier to do that okay so just there like that we've got the background sky now we're going to put some clouds on top of this there but before we do i'm just going to take a tiny bit of this titanium white just a tiny bit hardly any paint on the brush and i'm just going to float some mist just over these mountain ranges especially at the back we want them to look a little bit further away so just gently just go in there and just pale them off a little bit like that and same over here we're going to have a couple of clouds just coming over this lot i want a bit of the oil paint on top of some of these mountains there and again, though it looks very detailed, this is this is just as guide. We're gonna paint on top of this as we go along. So very little paint, very little paint. It's gonna be very hard to get this paint off <laughs> if you put too much on. So we're just gonna a very small amount like that there. Okay, so with a little bit of white, and I'm just gonna pinch a tiny touch of red into that just a tiny touch and i'm just going to come up here 
and I'm just going to put in the glow of a bit of a cloud okay just round here just scrub that in keep looking at the reference photo as well okay this is the light part of the cloud and we can blend this into this dark now I don't want a very strong shape just something that you know is there like that and maybe it comes down there's a lot that come down here as well so just a lot of paint <laughs> I can't even speak a lot of paint on the brush I'll tickle some of this in there like that stands out a little bit more there doesn't it and notice how I'm holding the brush right at the back of the handle so you get a little bit more freer a little bit more freer effect there, keep loading your brush it's just a little bit of red and white maybe that goes up there as well to get that dark spot in shadow there like that just some nice little cloudy shapes and of course we'll blend these out as we need them but i really do like this effect down here i'm not too sure where we'll go with that just yet And of course we'll come back and then just tickle the base of all this together with earlier and just tease that together don't distort your top edge too much but the base of it just we will do like that so we we'll mix the shadow color into the light and, and vice versa and then just fluff this up take a step back every once in a while is it working does it look right is that what we're after is that affect what we're after yeah. and then just keep on with this <clears throat> that's a big mean scottish cloud there so yeah, just, just gently tease that. And I've not cleaned this brush, by the way, you know. I refrain from cleaning all my brushes until until I absolutely need to. Right, so I'm just gonna float in whatever's on the brush here, just down here, a little bit more mist on that one. And it'll push that mountain range back. And you can see I've just, I varied the colors when I was painting the acrylics, you know, as you would normally do in an oil paint. And oil painting there we go I might even just grab a tiny bit more white and just peel this one off a little a little bit more like that I know on the the reference photograph there's lots of greenery down there but we'll just leave it like that for now and see what it looks like when we come to finishing it off okay now we need to work on this range here so what I'm doing is just taking a bit of this white, well, peachy white colour and just floating it right across this mountain range. Now, again, we painted it in acrylic, allowed that to dry completely. Then we glazed the top in a very thin white and, uh, and peach colour. And we're just going to just float in a couple of clouds just there, like that. And then that goes... I don't want to get too carried away. Uh, maybe there's maybe there's one or two that's just floating around down there. And again, if, if they're not ideal, we can move them. So this composition has got very little focal point. So I'm putting just one down here, and I'm going to hide it behind these big major mountain tops. So I'm just snuck in a little bit of white. It's not pure white; it's off white, but, but I've really pushed it into the fabric there. Try not to cover the main part of these mountains. I've blended that up. Now I'm just going to take on another brush. Let's get a filbert brush and a bit of brown and a touch of black. Not much, not much, not much paint at all. Very little. And I'm just going to tweak that in there. I'm just going to tone this foggy highlight spot just out and down, just like that. And mix it back up there. The mountain side there like that 
So when we put this part on, and remember this is all dry acrylic paint, and this is all, <laughs> now we've coated it, it's all sort of like semi-wet oil paint. Uh, when we put this part on, when we go over the top of this, it should give us a nice little, mm, that's where your eye wants to go. Bit, bit of umber, a bit of white. Let's get a bit crazy and put a little bit of the yellow in there as well. Okay, not over mixed. And then just down here, just very, very loosely, let's just put a little bit of that. Because there's hardly any paint on the canvas. We can get away with this. There, like that. Just put a little bit like that. There. Okay, and we might even put a little sneaky bit up here as well. Like so. Grab his blending brush. It's his blending brush today, and then just, just gently tease it back. I want to just knock off any of the sharp edges that we've put on there. And you can build and build and build on this if you wish. There we go. Like that. Mm. With a little dark colour. Okay, and this is just basically every bit of dark colour that I've got on the palette. I'm just going to re-sharpen these edges of the mountains. Like that, and then maybe come down there like that. Darken that corner off somewhat. And just like there. Like that. And then if you plough it on thin enough, you may see some of the highlight come through. But we know where the highlight needs to be because we can pop that highlight back in with the oils. That's the, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of these mixed, ma mi <laughs> mixed martial arts. <laughs> it's where we get a master from, you see. The beauty of mixed media paintings. Work on that there, like so. Yeah. Just take your time. Take your time. There's no rush. To do this at all. Again, just using some of this dark paint just to really get in there and put the shadows in. There, like that. And sharpen up the edge of the mountains. This is just on a filbert brush, this is just a little bit of dark paint. A bit of brown, a bit of black. Not too much blue, just enough, just enough to darken it a little bit more. There, like so. Remember, most of this is pretty dry, so you've got to really scrub this paint in, like that. Maybe you've got a bit dark there. We can come back and work on some of the uh, some of the highlights. Maybe this might need that in a little touch more. Okay, I'm taking. I've just got the white brush, you know, which we paint some of the clouds with, and I've just added a little bit of red and some of this browny colour to it. Okay, and I'm just gonna tinker with some of these rocks now. Just just really pick out. I'm using it like a knife, very lightly, very gently, to cover some of these rock faces. Okay, and then we're going to change the flavour, as we always do, when we need to. Just change the flavour of the paint. Having that acrylic down there is just a—it's an absolute brucey bonus, isn't it? You know. You know. If you've seen one of my paintings before, where where we've uh, just painted some of the mountain under colour, just in black acrylic, that really does help, really does help. And this is a very similar sort of feel to that. I'll come up here on this one. And I've gone for a warmer brown than, a, than actually a need to, just to give this impression of it being closer to us because because these warm colors are closer to us 
the cooler colours are further away and these warmer colours are you know closer to us so again working on depth because from the original reference photograph it is very hard to get to get something working in this from a from a from a composition point of view okay i'm just going to take a tiny bit of white and yellow and i'm just going to really gently and delicately just pick out some of the highlight spots you know, you know we, we've got some with the uh, with the under color but i'm just gonna just just use the knife and just pick out some like that now don't worry if it looks a bit crazy because it will look crazy but all we're going to do is just put some of this down with very little paint. Very little paint there. Just taking a little bit of highlight colour. <laughs> just a little bit of white and a tiny bit of brown and yellow. Just, just te tweaked into that just there. Let it bounce, let it break. Let it look like lots and lots of rocks i want all the acrylic covered which is almost done even if it's just thin but we're just putting a little bit on it's little and often we don't want don't plow loads on all to start with just just get a little tiny bit i'm going to get a little bit of blue and white just a little bit of blue and white and maybe put a little shadowy color there you might not be able to pick it up on the camera but it's it's there just a tiny tiny amount just to cool that side of the mountain off. Go for more little highlights. Mm. And I think we're about finished. Well, wow, I really like that one. It does look quite close to the uh, original photograph. And I'm sure I'm sure our friend who was paid for this really enjoys it as well. But if you enjoy it, give it a big old thumbs up. If you do something like this, please send me a photograph. Painting with Master Temple on Facebook, a little page that we've got set up there. We have all sorts of chats and talks and, and photographs of his work. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Uh, give a big old thumbs up, leave me a nice comment, and until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, happy days, I see you there.